Well, down here in the Bitterroot Valley, it's been a long time coming for the Corvallis Blue Devils, who are 5-0 to start the 2023 high school football season. And for the Blue Devils, it's about keeping that momentum going forward, as they've been one of the best feel-good stories of the season. Corvallis has been a program that historically has had its struggles in football. But this year, the Blue Devils have seemingly turned things around. I think just sticking together, working through all these tough years, um, bonding as a team, and we've really just come together. Lots of upperclassmen, starters, and execute well. The start has been a historic one in Corvallis, as it's the first time the Blue Devils have started the season 5-0 since 1975. Corvallis has 40 players in the program this year, 14 of them seniors. And it's those upperclassmen who were thrown into starting roles as freshmen and sophomores who are now seeing the fruits of their labor. Going through the losses together and then going through wins together is like definitely a way better feeling, you know, but being, being the underdog and coming through it is really a cool thing to be a part of. And Corvallis isn't just winning games, they're dominating, having outscored opponents 190 to 6 in just five games. We were always on the brink of potentially beaten teams that were supposedly way better than us, but we always had that etiquette because since we lose all the time, once we had a really good play put on us, then we, we hung our heads too soon. And this year, whenever we, they have a big play against us, we just don't hang our heads anymore. This is the, the first you know, opportunity these kids have had to really just enjoy and be part of this huge momentum of success uh, within, within their program. And that's, that's what I am really you know, excited about. Now, the Blue Devils have their eyes set on a big matchup with Dylan on Friday night and possible postseason implications, which would be their first since 2018. It's great, I love it. I really hope that we can leave uh, legacy here and Corvallis keeps winning. Reporting in Corvallis, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.